and he will also call for the investigation to come to a close. Thank you very much, Tim Russick. The president will make this speech now from the map room where he testified earlier today. Good evening. This afternoon in this room, from this chair, I testified before the Office of Independent Counsel and the Grand Jury. I answered their questions truthfully, including questions about my private life, questions no American citizen would ever want to answer. Still, I must take complete responsibility for all my actions, both public and private. And that is why I am speaking to you tonight. As you know, in a deposition in January, I was asked questions about my relationship with Monica Lewinsky. While my answers were legally accurate, I did not volunteer information. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. But I told the grand jury today, and I say to you now, that at no time did I ask anyone to lie, to hide or destroy evidence, or to take any other unlawful action. I know that my public comments and my silence about this matter gave a false impression. I misled people, including even my wife. I deeply regret that. I can only tell you I was motivated by many factors. First, by a desire to protect myself from the embarrassment of my own conduct. I was also very concerned about protecting my family. The fact that these questions were being asked in a politically inspired lawsuit, which has since been dismissed, was a consideration too. In addition, I had real and serious concerns about an independent counsel investigation that began with private business dealings 20 years ago. Dealings, I might add, about which an independent federal agency found no evidence of any wrongdoing by me or my wife over two years ago. The independent counsel investigation moved on to my staff and friends, then into my private life. And now the investigation itself is under investigation. This has gone on too long cost too much and hurt too many innocent people. Now this matter is between me, the two people I love most, my wife and our daughter, and our God. I must put it right, and I am prepared to do whatever it takes to do so. Nothing is more important to me personally, but it is private and I intend to reclaim my family life for my family. It's nobody's business but ours. Even presidents have private lives. It is time to stop the pursuit of personal destruction and the prying into private lives and get on with our national life. Our country has been distracted by this matter for too long, and I take my responsibility for my part in all of this. That is all I can do. Now it is time, in fact, it is past time to move on. We have important work to do, real opportunities to seize, real problems to solve, real security matters to face. And so tonight, I ask you to turn away from the spectacle of the past seven months, to repair the fabric of our national discourse, and to return our attention to all the challenges and all the promise of the next American century. Thank you for watching, and good night. President Bill Clinton tonight admitting that he had a relationship with Monica Lewinsky. He described it as a critical lapse in judgment. He said that he answered the questions from a legal point of view when he was asked about it in the deposition in January, legally, but he was not forthcoming about all that had gone on. He said that he was wrong, he regretted his actions, he especially regretted misleading his wife and his family. He invoked them several times, especially at the end, talking about the need of a president of the United States to have privacy and to be able to repair his relationship with his family. He then went on the attack against Ken Starr and the investigation. I'm joined now by Senator Orrin Hatch, 
the senior member of the uh, Senate Judiciary Committee, Republican of Utah, who's been in the thick of all of this from the very beginning and just two weeks ago on Meet the Press said, if the president goes before the American public and says, I'm sorry, I was wrong, he'll go a long way toward repairing his image and bringing all this to closure. Senator, the question tonight is, did he do that? Well, I would have preferred had he taken the full blame for his actions rather than trying to shift the blame to Ken Starr. It was his treatment of a woman, or at least the allegations of his treatment of a woman, that has caused this whole thing. 